sometimes we get caught up so caught up in the newness of things that we don't really stop to appreciate what we already have yeah, yeah. What is up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new Jillian here today's video is a good one it is another style video but we're really focused on Zara and why I'm avoiding them it's really not as diabolical as it seems I just think that sometimes we get caught up so caught up in the newness of things that we don't really stop to appreciate what we already have so today, I want to call this more of like a anti-Zara haul. I'm going to show you all of the things that I have been loving on their website, but the reasons why I'm not going to be buying them. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now, the main reason I will not be purchasing any of these pieces is because I already have something that will serve the same purpose. I'm going to show you guys all of those pieces. A lot of them are thrifted, some of them are not. They're just things that are already in my closet, but I just feel like this is something that is really important to do before you start shopping and you decide that you wanna add new things into your wardrobe. Before we get into all of those pieces and we get into the styling portion of the video, we're gonna talk about something that you actually should be adding to your collection and that is fragrances by Dossier. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm obsessed with these fragrances that I got this month. I cannot even begin to tell you. This one is called Floral Sandalwood. Now this one is supposed to be inspired by Mason Francis, Kirk Dijon, Amaris Extra, I think it is. Listen, don't hold me on these names, pronunciations and things like that. I'm gonna put it right here. This one is, it smells so fresh and I want to say it kind of has like a powdery scent to it oh it, okay so here's the top notes the top notes are pear tangerine flower violet I said that weird pear tangerine flower and violet the middle notes are amaris oris and jasmine and the base notes are vetiver musk amber and sandalwood and this one I feel like is a really good everyday scent. I feel like this is a lot lighter than like a Baccarat Rouge. Like this is more of a daytime scent to me and just like an everyday, but it smells so fresh. And I just, I think that if you love fresh scents and especially if you love Jasmine, then you're gonna really like this one. It, they just never cease to amaze me every single time i'm just like how do they do it now i want to talk about one that is their personal um collection this one is the caramelized lavender hazelnut now this one that i picked was actually a like unisex fragrance and the top notes for this one is salted caramelized hazelnut accord the middle notes are lavender, violet, orange flower, and the base notes are patchouli, vetiver, suede, and ambroxan. And so let me go ahead and, the fragrance is not the box. See, I actually, I actually be using these fragrances. Let me grab it. Okay, I have it right here. So this one is definitely unisex. I'm trying to see like what it kind of reminds me of. I don't know, it just, it's very musky and definitely like unisex i don't know for me this is like more of a sexy date night scent male or female it is very much unisex i don't even think it leans more male or female i think it's a nice little combination of the two and this one would make a really good layering scent i would love to layer this with something that had like a vanilla undertone to it but i do highly recommend this one if you like deep musky scents i'm trying to see you can definitely smell the caramelized hazelnut. So if you like deep, ambery type of like nutty scents, this one is gonna be for you. And you can definitely smell the lavender notes in there as well. For the last one, I got the citrus tea and I was quite shocked that I liked this one as much as I did. This one is inspired by Lalabo the Noir 29. And the top notes are bergamot, fig, black tea, 
bay leaf, tobacco, jasmine, vetiver, and the base notes are cedarwood, musk, hay, peach, and incense. This is another one that is really fresh and if you've never smelled Lalabo Noir 29, it kind of reminds me of, gosh, what does this remind me of? I'm so bad at describing scents, but it's just very fresh and soft. And I really think that this one is a really good year around scent. I don't even wanna say it leans more like summer or winter. What does this remind me of? It smells like something that I've smelled before, but I just cannot quite put my finger on it. Okay, you know what? It kind of reminds me of if Centel 33 had a baby with the Way perfume. That's what it kind of smells like. Like it's a combination of those two, which if you've never smelled either of those, then that's no help to you whatsoever, but it's really good. So those are the fragrances that I got for this month. I think you guys should definitely check out a dossier if you are in the market for a new fragrance. They are so affordable. They start at just $29 and they are such good quality. They are sustainable and they do have really good lasting power. They have so many different scents that are inspired by some of the most popular fragrances. So if that is something that you're into but you do not wanna pay all of that money, then I highly suggest and recommend that you check them out. I will have everything linked down in the description box if you guys want to see what else that they have. But y'all, yeah, stay tuned. You know, Dossier, we've been rocking with each other for some years now. Let's get into some outfits. I'm so excited about this. I'm going to put the vision board right here. These are all of the items that I have my eye on for Zara. And as I was putting the board together and like once I finished it, I realized I picked out a lot of black and denim which is kind of wild to me because I, I guess I didn't realize how much I was really into color until one of my friends brought it to my intention, but I typically like a decent amount of color. I love rich jewel tones and just rich, deep, bright, vibrant colors in general. So the fact that this entire board is basically black, denim, and gray is quite intriguing to me. So I wanted to start off with the first item that I saw. It is this jacket right here. Now, my trigger finger wanted me to immediately click and buy this, but then I had to think to myself, Jillian, you have something like this already. And the crazy thing about it is, I don't think I've showed you guys this, but I did thrift it. So we're gonna get into that item first. It is this bomber jacket right here. Now this one is actually pretty heavy and weighty, what sold me on this one was the pockets on the arm, the pockets on the front. It was very much like a bomber, but moto style leather jacket, like as if they were combined. And I also have one that I got from Hudson that is a little bit more thinner. Like this one is a heavier leather. My Hudson one is a little bit more of a thinner leather. So they kind of both work and serve Similar purposes, however, I will say that this is one that I would wear if it was colder. And my Hudson one is one that I would wear if it was a little bit like warmer, like it's still cool, but not like cold because this is for cold weather. My other one's for cool weather. <laughs> but this is the one that I feel like it just looks so similar to this one, doesn't it? So I went ahead and styled it up in a very simple outfit. I chose to style it up with this denim. <laughs> Let me button it up for you. But I actually made this out of a pair of Levi's 550s. And this is the denim skirt right here. I had a nice little, I just opened up the entire back and um, sewed it back together that way. I didn't like do the overlapping thing that I would typically do. I just feel like this way for this type of skirt works out better but it does have like that nice little cute high split in the front. And I decided to style the bomber jacket with this skirt and I styled it with this white tank that I got from Timu. I showed you guys this in my last haul from them. And I just really loved the way that this came out. I styled it also with these boots that are new. I'm only gonna show you one because they're so heavy but this is the boot right here like these boots are so popular right now as far as like the moto like what would you call this like a, it's not it's like a cross between a moto boot and a cowboy boot i feel like and i love the silver detailing on this one like this is just so cool and i got these on poshmark for a 
steel. They are real leather. And what was really the determining factor in me getting these from Poshmark is because I wanted to A, save money, duh. But I really loved the Mew Mew ones with, that had all the buckles up the side. I was just... I wasn't about to pay Mew Mew money and I just feel like I got two pair because I'm going to show you another pair of boots like this and I paid way less. So the Mew Mew ones, they were cute, but I just, I couldn't do it. So I got these and I styled this outfit up with these. I felt like it was just such a nice little basic casual, but like edgy outfit. And I really love the way that it came out. I didn't style it exactly like the Zara website. There is this picture that gave me some inspiration, which I'll put right here. But overall, I just wanted to style all of the pieces in just the ways that I would, because essentially, when you're shopping on Zara, you're buying the piece, you're not buying the outfit. So I didn't want to replicate the outfits on here necessarily because I wanted to treat this as if I did a haul from Zara and these are the pieces that I got and this is how I would have styled it. I did take some inspiration but I didn't style it exactly like you see on here. That was the first piece. I think I paid about $80 for that jacket and this particular jacket which is also real leather was $250. No. $259 on the Zara website. You can see how much money I saved just by thrifting it and getting it secondhand and how much money I saved by not buying it at all. We're not duplicating efforts here anymore. I have made a pact with myself that I'm gonna stop duplicating efforts in my closet unless it's like a staple piece that I want in multiple colors. That's different. But like having 10,000 black leather jackets, Jillian already has 10,000 black leather jackets. She doesn't need 10,001. And because of that, that is why I am not buying this first Zara piece because it would literally be pointless. The next item that was really tempting for me was this navy blazer with gold buttons. I actually have two navy blazers with gold buttons, but I could not find the other one, which is actually the one that I wanted to style. It's by the brand Austin Reed, I believe, but I don't know where it is and this is an indication that I have too many clothes but I was able to find my knit navy blazer with the gold buttons that I thrifted that is by the brand St. John Basics and I actually have the matching knit skirt for this as well it's just in a bag waiting to be tailored because I want to get it turned into a mini but it does have these beautiful gold buttons right here, double breasted, just like the photo and the buttons on the sleeve as well. I did want to style this one up in a lot more of a basic way with not a lot of hoopla around it. So I styled it with these Levi's 550s in this more dark wash and I cuffed them at the bottom a little bit. These fit perfectly as like a relaxed just easy pair of jeans i just love levi's so much and i think that levi's are just never gonna go out of style now for the shoes i have another picture that i'm gonna insert right here and these are actually a pair of gold boots that were on the website that were very tempting but i actually have two pair of gold boots already one is like a very gold gold and then another one is more of like a soft soft like a what would you call it like a champagne gold almost and so the ones that i styled with this outfit were the champagne gold ones they are these right here and these are by the brand stuart weitzman I've had these now for probably two, yeah, I've had them for about two years. And they are a slouchy type of gold boot. They have a lower heel, which these are very comfortable. And I just basically styled these under the denim with the navy blazer. And I just love the way that navy and gold looks together. I think it's just classic, staple, like easy colors to pair together. My thought process when putting this outfit together was to put something together that was timeless and easy to wear. I feel like you cannot get easier than this. I could have actually paired this with a gold bag. I could have paired this with, I probably would have paired this with a gold bag to be honest or something that was like lighter with a lot of chunky gold accents maybe. Do I have another bag? I, I thought I had a bag out here but I just would pair this with like a gold bag and call it a day and it would just be such an easy, simple little outfit. The boots, very tempting, but I already have to pair. The blazer, also very tempting, 
but I already have two. Can't find one right now, but it's it's here somewhere. I have it. So there was really just no reason for me to buy this blazer at all. Let's see if we can see how much it is. The blazer was $109. Now I got my St. John Basics Knit Blazer for $14.99 because I thrifted it. And I'm going to say that mine was probably the better deal. And because of that, Jillian will not be buying this Zara Navy blazer. On to the next item. As I'm looking through these outfits, I'm realizing a lot of these could be great for like workwear with just a few tweaks. So keep that in mind and kind of use this as inspo and make the necessary adjustments based on your work dress code. But the next piece, I remember talking about this piece when I did a who did it better like a Zara versus thrift and Zara had the green version of this at the time and at the time I showed my black version but now that they've come out with a black version I feel the need to show my black version again so this is the top right here this beautiful sheer top with this like flower pattern on it and the one that I'm gonna show you was a hundred percent thrifted how much was that that one was $49.90 I thrifted this one for $9.99 and it is this gorgeous beauty right here. The flowers on this one are of course a lot smaller. Those are bigger, but the vibe and the energy is still the same. And this one in this photo, the model had it styled with black pants. I didn't, I do have pants similar to this, but I actually decided to style it up with these faux leather pants. I actually have not worn these yet. You guys, I don't know why I have not. I think I forgot I had them. And that's why videos like this are important because I would have bought it and like forgot I had something like this. So these are also from Zara some years ago and I got them when they came out. I love them and I decided to pair these two together and kind of do a front tuck on the pants. And then for the shoes, I went ahead and added the same Stuart Weitzman champagne gold boots underneath it with chunky gold jewelry, a really cool black bag with gold accents or like whatever bag you have. This is such a cool like little office look. Now, if I was gonna adapt it to my office, I would wear a black tank, not a black bra, but having a black bra with this outfit, with the boots and the leather makes this more of a really good going out outfit so like a dinner outfit or going out outfit that's kind of how i would or the event or occasion that i would wear this with for work i would just do like a basic black tank so that was that outfit and the reason why i will not be buying this sheer black shirt because i don't need it i already have something like it so now we're gonna move on. This next outfit was surprisingly one of my favorites and the motivation behind it was this gray kind of zip up hoodie or sweater. It looks like a hoodie actually. And then this gray denim pencil style skirt. I decided to style a sweater that I have that's very similar. I got it during quarantine for like such a sick deal by the brand Selkie. And it does have the same type of zip detail right here. It's just not a hoodie. It just has a really wide collar that if you're looking at me dead on, it looks like it could be a hoodie. I have it right here. I don't know why I'm like describing it like I can't show it to you, but this is how it looks completely zipped up. And you guys would have seen me style this with the matching mini skirt on Instagram. But for the purposes of the video, I did unzip it and wear it like this. So it's giving the same vibe. And I styled it with another denim skirt that I made. <laughs> this was actually one of the first denim skirts that I made. And this one I used two different denims. And this one is actually a little, it's, it's more material to this one. It's not as fitted as the other one. It's really like, you'll see, you'll see in the try on. But I used a different color denim in the front with, <laughs> it's big with um distressing the part of the jeans that had the distressing in the knee i used that for this part of the skirt and then i just lined up the seams and did the back i love this skirt so much and so i wanted to style that with this to kind of give the same vibe but not exactly and i did add a belt and tuck it in because the skirt is a little bit big 
because the denim that I bought was actually a little bit bigger on me and then even when I made it I lost more weight after that so it's really a skirt that is best low rise on me like lower on the waist but either way I could wear a belt and wear it up a little bit higher or lower it doesn't even matter for the purposes of this video I styled it like a little bit lower with a belt and tucked in the sweater as you guys are hopefully seeing right here and then for the boots these are the other ones that I got again this was a Poshmark buy and this one does not have the same detail on it as the black ones, but the styles are just very much similar. I wanted a black one and I wanted a brown one. And so I found these on Poshmark, again, real leather, such a phenomenal deal. And I thought it would look really cool with this skirt. I just wanted to try it. I like the way that it looks. It's very comfortable and something I would definitely wear. I could get a, I could get away with wearing this to work. Like for me, I could wear this to work. If you couldn't, this is probably more of like a, a casual Friday type of outfit for you maybe, I'm not sure, but I have a very lax um, dress code at my job. I don't know about you, but I could definitely wear this to work. Um, but if you couldn't wear it to work, definitely a great, like just fall outfit in general for if it's a little bit cooler. But I loved this gray sweater. Now, here's the thing, mine is tan. This one is gray. Technically, I could buy it and be justified because it's not duplicating efforts. However, really thinking about it, I'm probably gonna pull my selfie one every single time. Like, I don't think I actually need the gray one. So therefore, I'm gonna be passing on it. Don't hold me to that. Things could change. But at the, at the time of this video, Jillian's not getting it. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. I have this leather shirt in two different kind of silhouettes. Basically, one has pockets on the front, one doesn't, but I have two of them because I thrifted them. I actually thrifted three of these because I gave one to my husband, which if you guys saw my last vlog, then you would have seen him wear it like in a guy way. But this is it right here. This is the leather shirt. It is fully lined and it is a size 4XL and the Zara version, which I'm gonna put right here, it looks like oversized. I don't have the price on this one because I just took the screenshot, not a screenshot of the price, but honestly, I don't even know if this one is real leather or not. We'll have to investigate. If I can find the picture with the price, I'll put the picture with the price up, but <sighs> this was really cute, but I immediately saw it and knew Jillian, you better not because you have like two. And not only do I have these two black ones, I have more fitted versions in brown as well. So there's like really no excuse. Like I don't need to buy any leather, like button up shirts. I even have one in white. I don't need to buy it. I don't need to buy it. It's like I'm convincing myself. Like I know I don't need the black one, but should another color come up, I'm not sure if I would have the self-control required to not get it. However, if it wasn't real leather, that's an easy choice for me because I'm like a, a leather snob. For the most part, I only wear real leather. So anyways, I styled this up as a dress just like the model did because mine is actually long enough and I had to put on tights with this outfit because my legs were eaten up by bugs. If you watch my <laughs> Instagram stories, then you will see all the bug bites that I had on my leg. But yeah, I styled this one up with tights. I would wear this with or without tights. The tights actually looked a lot cuter than I anticipated. So I, I kind of am digging the tights look a little bit more than like without the tights. But these are my sheer text tights, which I already owned. And then I styled this outfit up with this boot. I just felt like it was very fitting. Like this just went together so well. And I feel like I paid, so with me paying, how much did I pay for that? I thrifted that and I paid $19.99. And then with the boots, I think I paid 70 for these boots. These ones I paid 70 for. And with the sheer text tights, like the whole entire outfit was still like under $120. And it was all real leather and, and probably a lot better quality than this shirt. So Jillian won't be buying, Jillian won't be buying this, this leather shirt. Now, if it was real leather and it came in a different color, can't make any promises, but as it stands right now, this is something that I am not buying from Zara and I'm sure you can understand why. I'm going to throw in an honorary mention here because this is one item I completely forgot to style up, but have no fear. 
there will be more style videos coming and I will make sure to style this up in a future video. But I saw this really pretty sweater on Zara or cardigan. Let me just call it a cardigan. It's a cardigan on Zara. And I loved the colors, the like texture on it and everything. There were actually two different versions. Um, one with buttons, one without. I'll insert both of them just so you can see. But I recently thrifted this sweater right here or this cardigan. And this one does have buttons and these like little palms. And this is real fur. You can definitely feel it and tell that it's real fur. And this is, what is this? It feels like wool and mixed with a type of Angora. So this is fur, wool, and Angora. And the color is just so beautiful and vibrant. Like this is such a cool sweater. I thrifted this for $9.99. Let's see how much is this one. This one is $69.90 and then the black and gray and white one is $109. So I'm sure you can see better quality, better materials, way better textiles or that one. And I paid like literally 10%, 10% of the price. So like, I can't actually justify that. I can't justify purchasing it, even though it's really cool. Having this one serves the purpose for me. I can get it out of my system. So I don't actually need either of those. So I won't be buying it, but let's move on. How many more items do I have? I think I have only two more outfits. Let's get through these two more outfits. Oh, let me show you this. So this next outfit, I wanted to style up the bomber jacket again. And I did actually take inspo from one of the outfits on here. And this was a different variation of the bomber jacket. I'll put it right here. So clearly they have a couple different variations of the bomber jacket that is in leather. I'm not sure that this one is real leather. No. So this one is a faux leather bomber and then they had the real leather bomber. Even the faux leather bomber is still $69.90. And again, I paid $80 for mine. So 100% I would rather have mine. But I loved the whole denim skirt moto boot vibe. So I'm going to show you the skirt that I use to style up this look. And it is this one right here with the cargo pockets on the front and then we have the back and this is like black denim so it's like a two-tone denim and this is so cute i actually made this one and you can see it on right here this skirt is currently up on my website for sale if you guys are interested it does have a matching top which is also on the website so if you guys are really loving that set that i made for myself the information <laughs> is in the description on the listings. If you have any questions, ask, let me know. But uh, I'm hoping all of the information is there that you need. I tried to account for any measurement that might be asked, so it should be in there. With that, I styled it with this white tank, again, from Timu. And then I have this blue stripe button up that I thrifted by Club Room, 100% cotton like that and i layered it over the skirt and then i just threw the denim jacket on over it with these boots these boots are getting a lot of play in this video because i styled them i think like three different ways but they're just so cute i already know i'm gonna wear them so much so that is that outfit and i think this kind of again accounts for the bomber jacket it, it even accounts for the button up that's on under the jacket because i do believe that's on their website as well and even the boots the boots would have been tempting but i knew i had those on the way so i was like let me just get these these are real leather they're much more affordable because i think the real leather ones on zara are like 150 to 250 dollars and i bought two for less than that so actually i think i bought both of mine for a hundred dollars between the price of them both i only paid a hundred dollars so i'm winning in this situation I'm sorry, I'm totally winning because there are not any leather boots on Zara you could get right now for $100 and it would only be one. So yeah, another item I'm not getting from Zara and why. Last but not least, certainly, is the item that I think would tempt anyone. And it is this item right here, this leather trench. I know a leather trench is like a hot ticket item for the fall winter season. And I'm telling you right now, go to the thrift store go to the thrift store if you don't listen to anything that i say about anything else go to the thrift store you can find yourself a leather trench i have 
maybe like four leather trenches and I'm gonna show you one today. The one that's most similar to the one on this picture, how much is it? This one is faux leather, it's faux leather and it's 109. I thrifted mine for 20 bucks and it is this one right here with the lapels. It was in my closet weird, but let me see if I can try to hold the lapels. Like it's super cute, very long. It's a maxi length uh, trench and I absolutely love this. I wore it a lot in the previous season and I'm gonna be wearing it equally as much this season. I styled it up with these Levi's 550s again, just something very simple. And then I did the white tank from Timu and then under the jeans, I again styled this boot. It was just a very simple, basic outfit. But a lot of these outfits, I wanted them to be a little bit more simple just to give you guys inspiration because I just feel like a lot of these pieces are pieces you guys probably have somewhere in your wardrobe and you just need a little bit of inspiration to reignite that love for them, that new love. And so I wanted to style up outfits that were fairly easy and not doing too, too, too much, you know? So those are the things that I had my eye on on Zara and your girl had some self-control and she did not pull the trigger and I'm so proud of me for that because you know I've, I'm trying to break some very bad habits and one of them is not being grateful for the things that I already have and not really you know taking them out and playing with them and reimagining them and restyling them like I have so many cool pieces that it's about time that I start wearing them and appreciating them so that's really what this video was about. It was more for me than you, but I hope it's helpful for you. Anytime you're on websites shopping and you're thinking that you wanna buy the new, 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 just check your own closet and make sure that you don't already have something like it. Cause I promise you, you probably have something that will serve the same purpose and you just are not thinking about it. So that's today's video. If you like this style of video and you would like me to do another one, make sure you like it and comment down below. Tell me your favorite item and maybe some of the things that you are loving on Zara. I mean, I have a list. Don't get me wrong. I have a list of things that I do want to buy that I don't have anything like, but I'm taking some time to think about it. And if they just so happen to sell out before I have a chance to buy them, then it just isn't meant to be. So that's how we're kind of like seeing it, you know, that's how I'm seeing it from this perspective right now. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.